Do you have an anti-pebble strategy? Yes, we do. We do. So yeah, so essentially if that if we take any snake. damage during the entire it stream, we delete it will help guide the entire save file and slumber. start over again. And we really need to do this because I need to give some footage to my editor. <laughs> Uh, to, to my editors. I just don't have, like, I don't. And I want to, I want to do this. I want this on, like, so we, we have to. We will be grinding this out. Uh, and then tomorrow we're actually doing a, another Breath of the Wild challenge. And it is Breath of the Wild, but somebody turned the lights off. So that's fun. <laughs> Cyber Kaido, thanks for the eight months. Thank you. Um, uh, saying the opportunity, I want to, I watched Doug Doug's uh, Dragon's video that you recommended, and I couldn't stop laughing. Look forward to the more months here. Yeah, it's I, I wouldn't recommend any videos that that you wouldn't like. It's so good, so good. Doug Doug fans, dude, dude is unri Doug Doug is unrivaled when it comes to comedy. That man knows that my that man knows how to be funny. We, we love Doug Doug here. And we've done some streams with Doug Doug before. We've done two of them before. We've done two of them before. Link. Can we gamble tonight? Ah, uh, I don't know yet. I don't know. <laughs> Burrito Cat Rat, thanks for the 100 bits. Merry early Christmas. Well, Merry early Christmas to you too. Uh, we got Christmas Eve tomorrow. Uh, which is fun. Um, and I, uh, I'm kind of excited for that. I, I, I can't wait to see my parents on Christmas. It's been a hot second. Um, but that's going to be fun. Uh, I do, I, I do need, like, I don't know, we might watch a movie, like, I might, I might watch a movie with my parents. Do you guys have any recommendations on things that we should watch on Christmas? Garnet, thanks for the gifted sub. Thank you. I know the elf, I know, I know the elf. We could, we could watch elf. <laughs> Dude, I've... <laughs> Star Wars? Oh, we could watch Star Wars. We, we could, honestly, I'm kind of down for Rogue One. Um, and then I kind of want to drop like, hey, I played with, played with Gary. <laughs> hey, you know, it it took me everything to not be like, hey, you know, I I uh, think Rogue One is uh, probably the best movie out of the Star Wars. Kind of, kind of, you know. <laughs> hey, I was freaking out internally. All right, I was freaking out like slightly internally when when. When I, I I heard who was who who I was uh, who I was streaming with, um, kind of nuts, and it's so funny too. I felt so out of place, cause cause I'm like a new streamer, like I'm very new, like I'm also 22. I'm very young, uh, compared to like everyone else. <laughs> and they're like, oh, th like like I pop into the chat for the first time, and like we were setting things up, and they're like, oh hey, do you know, um. Uh, do you know Bob? It's like, oh my god, I love Bob. We met at, you know, we had drinks the other day, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, hey, what about, uh, uh, what about Will? Oh my god, Will. Love that guy. Can't even remember. And I'm just like, um, I, uh, I'm, I, I felt so, like, in my own bubble on, <laughs> on, like, content creation. I'm like, I'm new to all of this. I have a, I have, I have this, I, I just, I did, somehow I just got dropped into this, you know, and I'm very new and I haven't met any, I, I, my stream blew up in Corona Town, so I've met nobody, I have no idea who any of you guys, like, are talking about, but hey, I'm here, I exist, so, hell yeah, oh, uh, so it was like, it was, it was so weird because I'm like, I I somewhat know who you guys I don't really, you know, classic. I'm like, I don't know anybody in the in the video gaming industry besides myself. Like I feel so much like it made me feel like being like, okay, I am very much in my own in my own bubble right now of Twitch. Like it's just a little corner of Twitch that we're a part of, you know, it's just like just right there, you know. Alright, let's get the uh shield here for later. And get the tower. How'd you get your last two TikToks out so fast? I have an editor who just does it for me. I don't I don't run my TikTok. What about your uncle who works at Nintendo who's in the gaming community? Yeah, I tried to I tried to tell them about him, but they they, they wouldn't they wouldn't hear. They're like they like, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I was like, yeah, my uncle works at Nintendo and he said that he said that that uh, he told me when games are coming out, and he said that Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out soon. 
Uh, speaking of which, um, can you ask your mom if if, if, if I could sleep over? Cause like I can't sleep over if your if your mom doesn't say so. Can so can my mom talk to your mom so we can sleep over together? Ah, they they weren't having it though. They weren't having it. That's that's a peepo shy right there. <laughs> can can my mom and your mom talk so we can have a sleepover together? Prince of Sheep, thanks for the five months that pointy curve do be zooming though. Hell yeah. We're we're gonna we're not going we're not only just going to take take no damage this stream. We're also going to speed run this too. Hope you have a great Xmas, my guy. Hey, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Hope you hope you have one too. Love the Nintendo and kid impression. I it's not exactly an impression. I mean, Jay Hallenbeck, thanks for the 150 bits. I mean, I guess it is, but like it, it was very much a reality. You know, like you would have you'd be on the the playground, like the schoolyard for recess, and you would always get one guy being like, "My dad works at Nintendo, and he said, and he said that the next Pokemon, if you go to the 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 truck, the truck." Uh, in, in, in and then click on the pluck you can you can get Mew during the Pokemon games. I he, he's, he's real I I swear. And you're like like that is it is so true. Like everyone had like one one friend as a child that did exactly that. It's so real, right? Like it's the truck and not even that. It's like uh, do you want to trade my Pokemon cards? Uh, I'll trade my Yu-Gi-Oh cards for your Pokemon cards. Or like you would make up like you would have like you'd bring your Yu-Gi-Oh cards or like your Pokemon cards to, to school and you'd play them like on the gravel on the concrete uh, like during recess and you would make up your own rules like you had no idea how the game actually works to this day I have no idea how Pokemon works uh, but we would play with our Pokemon cards and I'm like my Charizard beats your Charizard because my Charizard has more health than your Charizard uh, it's like fuck damn well they, we didn't say fuck back then we were like oh heck you're you're Stupid, and like that was the worst. That was if if someone said stupid, like oh god, that was that was basically the the holy grail of curse words, right? Like I I like if you said stupid, right? Like uh, like it was you were gone. Like your mouth was washed out with soap, uh, and then you would always get one person be like, I'm telling the teacher right now. But like we had like I I, I had like a, some smart children, right? Like in my elementary school, right? Obviously you get stitches of like, oh, he said stupid. Um, and that's like, you just can't do that. Um, but you'd always have the tattletale, but some of them were actually really smart. So you would get some tattletales that were like, you know, I won't tell on you. You just give me that one Pokemon card. Like, th like these children at my, like we got some A1 blackmailers. Like it was, it was a, a dark time in third grade like you you would know who was up like you can't talk about like things next to other people i remember when we were in fourth grade too um one of my best friends robert uh he had a he had a uh, a brother named skylar and skylar was uh i think in like kindergarten at the time oh god his poor mother his poor mother because we sat down skylar during one recess uh, we sat him down and we we're like, all right, can you say these words? And we'd be like, can you say fuck? Can, can you say that? And Sky would be like, fuck. And we're like, nice. <laughs> like we, we were the guys who like taught him the bad words. We're like, can you say, can you say shit? He's like, shit. <laughs> and we're like, can you say fuck shit? Bitch. Fuck shit, bitch. And we're like, this is perfect. We've created a monster. And my god, it was unbelievable. Alright, we need to beat this uh this guardian real quick over here. And goodbye. Nice. I mean, I don't 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 be like you know, don't be like, oh god, you know, you're such a terrible person. You guys did it too. You guys did it too. There are some people in chat right there that, that really know what I'm talking about. You guys know. You guys know what it is. No, no, you you can't, you can't. You you did something. There was there was a time in like second third grade 
or like first to third grade where you did something right you did something like that you, you might i don't know maybe maybe you uh accidentally hit the kickball a little bit too too soft and someone kind of made fun of you for getting out every single time and, and then you weren't picked and you were always picked last for the kickballs so you were very frustrated so one day you just were like let it all out so then when they picked you last you were like fuck this and then your teacher was like excuse me and you're like i said frick i said frick and then your teacher believed you because they didn't want to deal with it right that's that's relatable you guys you guys did exactly that right like that's 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 that, that you that happened that was very specific i i i feel like that happened happened to everyone i don't know what you're talking about just saying just saying i was i will admit this though you know the, the crowning moment of my life uh, was being picked last for kickball uh every recess i don't know why i was um i felt like i had the the strength i feel like my rippling thighs were were good enough for uh for any second grader uh during that time i you know i, I feel like i feel like i was severely underutilized a lot of time yeah okay maybe i got out every single time i kicked the ball maybe i couldn't throw because my dad, dad actually never taught me how to throw i know right thanks dad um maybe maybe i'll maybe i'll ask that about christmas right they, my mom and dad my mom and dad asked me what I wanted for Christmas. Maybe I'll just put on the list, hey dad, can you teach me how to catch? Can you teach me how to throw? <laughs> just a good idea, you know? <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, I was picked, I will admit this fully. Yeah, I was in fact picked last every single time we played kickball. And you know what? I do have to say this too. It was so nice of uh, of of Gabe, right? So Gabe, he's he's one of the people who uh, uh, recently came into stream and being like, "Hey, do you do you remember my initials? Like, do you remember me from like from like elementary school when you traded me your your ancient Mew Pokemon card?" I was like, "Yes, I know exactly who you are, Gabe." Um, so Gabe was actually like the top guy of our elementary school class. Like, you would pick him first every time for kickball. Because he could lob that. He can get home runs. Easy. Easy. That man could throw mi miles per hour, right? Meanwhile, I was over here throwing feet per um, feet per millennia. He was throwing miles per hour, right? It's crazy. Like, he had a, a totally different dimension to his throw. Um, and you know what? I, I saw what he did. He did this a couple times. You know, I appreciated it. But you kind of know when it happens, right? He picked me first. A couple times, you know, for, for a full week, he picked me first during kickball, which was very nice of him. We lost every game, but I, I recognize the sentiment. But I also, you know, I was old enough at that time to know, all right, you're only picking me first because you feel bad. But it was very nice of him. <laughs> so I don't I don't think he's he's watching now, but uh, uh, Gabe, if you're out there, you, you a real one. You a real one. Oh my god. He was he was skinny at the time too. Um I from what I remember he was he was really he was really thin. What was cool is that we actually um uh I moved away um from we, we went to a, a, a different middle school than than the one that we were about to go to. Cause like the place we went to was a K through twelve uh school. And uh we wanted to go to like a, a, a middle school and then a high school so we we actually moved schools after fourth grade so for fifth grade i went to a, a catholic a private whatever um and so we came back at, at eighth grade right after at the end of middle school and dude was built like a truck dude put on some absolute muscle this man like became a behemoth overnight it's the best transformation i've ever seen Luna Starshooter, thanks for the tier one subscription. C Dreyfus, thanks for the 100 bits. Shouts to Gabe. Hell yeah. Jay Hallenbeck, thanks for 190 bits. Yay, we are last picked in kickball buddies. The first few picks out of pity were my life. I don't know if I don't know if that's something we should I don't know if we're gonna celebrate being picked last for kickball, but hell yeah, let's go. Please tell me you have Catholic school stories. Yeah, so I went to uh, I I have I've had a very nice childhood. I will fully admit that. I've I've had a privileged childhood. Um, I've had it better than most. 
uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> and it sucks to be you otherwise. No, I'm kidding. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I have, um, in fact, uh, I, I did have a, a, a nice childhood. And uh, in that, you know, I, I was at private schools my entire life, uh, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I was very lucky about that. We've always had, like, there's always something that goes down. Like, there's, like, there's always, like, some bougie thing that happens. I don't come from, like, a place of, like, insane rich, oh my god, can I have uh, my Mercedes on my yacht? No, I can't bring it on my yacht. I don't want to go on the trip to Milan. Like, I've never had, like, that sort of thing. Um, uh, but, um, you did see that from your classmates, right? So like my my high school was like a very like nice high school. Um and there was like points where like uh, I think one of my cl uh, my schoolmates it was around the time where like everyone starts to learn how to drive, right? So you get your in in California, you get your license, you get your permit um at 15 and a half. Uh you get your license at 16. Um that's the earliest you that's the earliest you can get your license and everything. So around 16 is when everybody um, starts either getting their parents' old cars um, or, like, maybe they buy their own after working um, or, or maybe they just they don't even do it. You know, maybe maybe they drive with their, their family. But uh, our, the, the, the high school was far enough where everybody needed to basically drive. Like, there was, there was a bus, which people did use still, um, but most everybody drove. Um, and so there was this one girl in, in our class that, um, was really angry when she got her car, right? Like, I, I, I was, it was awesome. Like, it was awesome that I, I managed to, to convince my parents to get a car, which is, which is very non-relatable, but it, I was, I still have the car till, till this day. And I, I will not, I will not get a new one until that thing is, is, is dragging down the street, rust bucket at all. Um... But, uh, yeah, so there was one girl in our grade that was really upset about her parents. She's like, oh, fuck. Like, oh, shit, oh, fuck. Why did you do this? You don't love me. Oh, my God, my parents have always hated me. I can't believe you brought me up this way. Oh, God. And I, I kid you not, it, it, is, it is exactly why you think it was. And it's because the Mercedes that her parents got her was the wrong color. I'm actually not joking about that. She was very upset that the Mercedes that she got was the wrong color. Um, and then they got her a new Mercedes with the right color. H. Willis, thanks for the seven months. Thank you so much for that. Um, Mercedes ended up being white at the end. Uh, additionally, there was uh, two kids. They were twins uh, in the grade below us. Uh, there was two kids in the grade below us, and they actually got, um, matching Maseratis. Um, it was a, it was a black one and a blue one. They would park them next to each other every, every, um, every morning, which is kind of funny, because, like, I mean, I, uh, it's just, it's matching, I don't even, I don't even understand anymore. I don't. Anyways, um... <laughs> I will I will say that hey, you know, um I did come from a place of privilege, so obviously this isn't too far from home. Um my sister got her own car, I got my own car as well, but they were nowhere near uh matching Maseratis. Uh my sister Ooh, I don't know. I don't want to tell you what my car was, but my sister um or my what my car is. Um but my uh my sister's car was a light blue beetle, um, convertible, uh, a convertible light blue beetle. Uh, and it totally matches not only her, but her personality as well. Uh, we love my sister here. Um, and the reason why we, we made the, the argument, we're like, hey, can we each get one? Um, obviously you don't need, we were very lucky. Uh, I want to keep saying that we were very, very lucky. Um, uh, it's because I would have to, uh, go to school at 6 a.m., uh, every single morning, and then I would stay at school, because I would, I would have, uh, aerial 
uh, performance practice, right? So I would, um, uh, I would have, uh, basically, you know, like the Cirque du Soleil stuff, right? Like I would do that, uh, and I'd have to wake up at, at six and I would, uh, go there, be there by seven and then stay until eight. Um, uh, and so then I would do that. And afterwards I had robotics, um, after school I had robotics and I would stay until eight. So I would spend a full 12 hours at my, at, at school and my sister wouldn't as much. Uh, so m my mom didn't want to drive me and my sister, um, to and from school, like five times, six times a day. Right. Cause like my mom, what my mom used to do before we were able to drive was she would drive me to practice then she would drive back to our house. And then she would drive my sister to school and she'd drive back to the house. And then after school, she would drive to the school. She'd pick up my sister. She'd drive my sister back to the, the house. And then she would uh, wait like an hour or two. And then uh, she would drive back to the school and then she would drive me back home. Which is way too much. <laughs> like, like, that's just like way, like it, it was a 30 minute drive. 30 minutes, sometimes an hour in traffic to get to our school. So there's absolutely no way you were going to do that. Did you complete an FRC? Yes. And I can't tell you anything more uh, or else it will dox me. But yes, I did first robotics. Uh, I, did, uh, I did strategy. Uh, strategy was a huge thing. I did some programming as well. Stop telling stories. Okay. Hey, hey, Point Crow. I'm new here. You seem cool. Hey, wow, that's crazy. I, a partnered streamer is in my chat. No way. Is that the Abby Bagel? I've heard so much about you. Is that literally the Abby Bagel in my chat? Not, not only, not only one of the kindest people. Apparently, I, I haven't heard. That I've never met. I've never met this person before. Um, but she, she is touted as, as the, um, as one of the nicest people just like ever. And then just an absolute amazing artist. Like I, we are literally in the presence of a modern Picasso. That, that's what I've, that's what I've heard. I, I can't, I don't know about that. I don't know. Uh, I've, I've only heard about the stories of the Abby Bagel on Twitch. I've never, um, did I say Picasso? I, I said Picasso. It's actually so nice. I'm gonna cry, Abby. Like I feel like you don't you don't get enough credit for your for your art. I said Picasso. Pick whatever, whatever. You know, you guys are you guys making fun of my slur. I see how it is. No, no, chat's chat's a bully. Whatever, whatever. I see how it is. No, I hate you guys too. You guys suck. Do it for him, Pico Tree. Do it for him. Nah, I hate my Twitch chat. You guys, you guys are the worst. Imagine, imagine coming to a point crow stream. <laughs> Ugh, couldn't be me. I'd be caught dead before I would be there. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, that's what I would do for, for high school. Uh, I was very involved. I've done a lot in my life, and I'm only 22. Uh, mainly because I just see something and I'm like, I want to do that. Like I don't really think before. I don't. Re I don't really think before I do things. Uh, for example, like I was like, wow, aerial performance, Cirque du Soleil. That seems so cool. I want to do that. But I didn't, like really think about like, oh, you're gonna be emotionally, physically exhausted, and you have to wake up at 6 a.m. every single day for the week. But it's fun. You know, I don't think before I do it. I just do it. Uh, so I've done aerial. I've done robotics. I've done rowing. Um, now streaming's my job. Um, what else have I done in my life? Uh, I don't know. I've done a lot. <laughs> kind of robotics. I did first robotics. It was really awesome. So I would recommend that to anybody. If you have a first robotics team near you, 
Uh, this is my plug for them because it is 1000% worth it. Uh, you will learn not only skills for the rest of your life, but it's so fun and it's such a great way to do it. You'll meet friends that you'll you'll just love for your, for forever. I still stay in touch with it. My sister sent me a text saying it's a meme. What what's up? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, she just it was the other one. All right. My sister says hi. No, she doesn't, but I'm gonna pretend like she did. <laughs> but yeah, I would I would highly recommend it. It's so fun. It's so fun. Honestly, like I guess my motto for my personal motto for life is like if you see something that's fun, just do it. You know, what's stopping you? Well, okay, sometimes money's stopping you in time, but like just do it, you know? Uh like literally, like if, if something seems cool, then just like what what's stopping you from doing it? What about Vex? Yeah, I did Vex as well. Have you ever dated somebody? Oof, wow. Um, I know you mean well. I know you mean well by that question, but like that kind of hurts in a different spot. Uh, it's like, damn. Like, I I know you mean it's like you're genuinely asking, but like, damn. Damn. I, I, I mean, yes, but like, does it really seem like I haven't? Like, fuck, man. Like, I've only been single for like... A while. It's what, what? How long has been Corona going on for? How long? How, how long has Corona been going on for? Just uh, answer. Answer. Uh, nine months, Eric. Wow, I haven't even seen a girl in almost two years. <laughs> Elena, thank you so. Oh my God. Jesus, can we get some pogs in chat for this? Thank you so much for the fifty dollar donation. Thank you. Might not be able to make it tomorrow. Uh, so happy Christmas Eve Eve. <laughs> I love that. No peeking until Christmas morning. <sighs> Thank you so much. Merry Christmas Eve Eve to you too. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much for the $50. Hey, I, I, you don't have to. I appreciate that so much. You don't have to give me Christmas gifts. I uh, Just having you guys here is, is a good enough gift as it is. Uh, for you guys to listen to me rant about my life. So, thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I never did something like that, though. Uh, I actually never... I never peeked at my Christmas gifts. Uh, I would always... I would always wonder what they were, obviously. Uh, like most people were. I'd, like, I'd, like, pick them up and I'd, like, shake them around. See, maybe, like, try to guess what it was. Um, uh, but my parents were very smart about it. Um, wait one second. Let me, let me see if I can do this, like, trick. Oh, I, me I messed it up. I messed it up. I messed it up. That would have been so nice, though. Damn. That would have been so cool. I It was risky. I wanted to. I did one year. I knew where to look. Hon honestly, like, uh, I just... I never... Like, my parents were very smart about it. Like, like they would not put the, the quote-unquote cool presents under the tree. So, like, uh, one year, uh, we got, like, we, okay, we, we actually got our, um, our dogs. I've, I've talked about Licorice and Precious uh, a couple times on stream. But we actually got our dogs for Christmas because we were asking for a dog. For, we were asking for puppies. Uh, and, um, obviously, they wouldn't put the puppies, you know, like, under the tree like the day before no my mom snuck out at night like actually santa claus and uh put the dogs under the tree um after uh having them at a neighbor's house uh, and so we actually woke up at like 3 a.m and we heard like like uh um scratching and everything and it was it was one of the dogs scratching at the uh uh um uh, at the the kennel uh we came down there and and we said hi to the dogs. Unfortunately, um, for my parents, we, my sister and I had a pact like every single year. And we would always wake up at 2.22 a.m. We don't know why. We just couldn't, we couldn't, um, we couldn't like wake up like at a nice time because uh, we were just so excited for Christmas the next morning. So like we, we would wake up really, really, really early, like stupid early. 
And so my my mom literally just got done with putting the dogs in the kettles uh, and bringing them over from the parents' house and then just, like, just went to sleep right when we woke up, which was awful because she wanted to, like, film our reaction to the dogs for the first time. And so that, that that's, uh, that's lost. Um, but... The moment when when they she was still like falling asleep, so like she heard us uh, go down there, so she sprinted to get a camera, and we got the moments right afterward. So she, it's like not only that, but like one time I got a um, um we got a Nintendo Wii, uh for Christmas. Uh, that was like a big. Everyone got a Nintendo Wii that year, uh for Christmas. Everyone and their mother did. Like you, you knew, you knew, right? Like everyone got a Wii for Christmas, um, and like I, you know, they would put that under, like under the tree, like the night before. I got the Wii, exactly, Tom. Please. You got the Wii too. Yeah, I'm you telling you, light. every single person did. Our light, that must shine. And then my sister got clocked in the day. face with a with a Wii mote while playing tennis, Let but go. we don't talk about that. That's why your face is fucked up. <laughs> She's not. She's not even here. But you know, um, we'll 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 take it. I can still flame her. <laughs> oh God, I love Annette. Hey, um, wait, Tom. Do you like uh? Do you like Rogue, Rogue One? I have to flex on you really quick. Do you like Rogue One, Tom? Yes? Alright, so I just played Among Us with Gary, uh, uh, Witta. Like, like an hour ago. <laughs> and, you know, and, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm just living a dream here. That's kind of awesome. Yeah, I, it was kind of cool. I got to meet the completionist as well. He's so nice. Uh, and then I got to meet, uh, Ross... Um, so it's unbelievably sick. He's so nice. Oh my God. He's so nice. I need like, oh my God. It was such, such a fun, such a fun, fun lobby. Like absolutely nuts. Uh, I would recommend watching back the VOD. It's on Grand Pooh Bear's stream. Uh, cause he was doing the, uh, um, the charity stream. Guaranteed laugh. I will, I will let you know that guaranteed. Momo Chief, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. <laughs> and Colonel Kegnog, thanks for the three months as well. <laughs> I'll check it out. Hey, I just I just had to because I knew you were a really good, really big fan of, of Star Wars. Um, and I, I wanted to share with with a friend. I know the the elf was so funny. And let me I I'm just uploading a document. I was gonna I was gonna text you actually after the stream. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> like <laughs> it's like good good enough a reminder. Rogue One in particular is really good too. It was my favorite. I think it's my favorite. I think we talk, we talk we talk about Star Wars like every single stream now. It's actually my favorite. Much better than any of the sequels. Reminder flex on Tom. <laughs> it was like it was enough. It was going to be like, hey, guess what? You'll never believe what just happened in my life. <laughs> You make every stream a VOD. Yes, every stream is uh, locally recorded and then also recorded on Twitch. So you will always, you will see every single stream on Twitch uh, or on, on, on the YouTube VOD channel or just on Twitch. So. VOD stands for video on demand. The immortality rant from last stream. Oh my God, don't even get me started about the, the ending of episode nine. Don't even get me started. <laughs> Locally recorded for YouTube. Just in case I ever lose the actual VOD, I just have like a 10 terabyte hard drive, which is almost full actually. I also need to cut my hair. Um, oh yeah, I need a Jesus. I need a new. I need a new hard drive. I've used nine terabytes. Jesus fuck. Do you have any siblings? Yeah, I have a twin sister. Her name is Annette. And and she's pretty awesome. But don't tell her I said that. I can't I can't let her ego get too high. All right? She's she's actually uh if I can like bring bring that up a little bit. Uh she's actually a genius. Like I I feel like I'm like average smart, you know, like 
like just you know how you be how you do like average smart my sister's actually a genius like she is she can do it all uh she she definitely she she definitely got the smarts of the family but don't tell once again don't tell her i said that because uh uh <laughs> can't gas her up too much i also say that like way too often um okay wait i just got tweeted at by by people i need to i need to retweet that everyone's smart differently true but like she's just smart in general you know like she has like the intelligence to do everything and ever um yeah it's so much fun oh. this crew must ride again mm. all right let me answer this all right i'm tweeting you guys should like my tweets so follow my twitter yeah, Chappie snitching. Hmm. I just gotta say thanks. I, you know, you gotta, you gotta say thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna restart so far. This is our first uh, first try. Actually, everything else that came before this is uh, is it's it's practice. You know? um, so last time when we took damage, I wanted to see if we would in fact take damage from um, uh, from the guardian there. Uh, it was just it was just a sort of you know I wanted to make sure that it was actually it was just you know six hours of practice. But now now right here. This is the actual run. We're actually going to complete uh, Breath of the Wild without taking any piece of damage whatsoever. Right, now, right here. This is it. Like right, right now. Is there a warm up reset counter? Ah, uh, nah, nah. We don't really need that. You know, no one needs a warm up reset counter. Cause I mean, come on. You practice all the time. Easy. Odds of that are one to seventy seven point five trillion. Didn't Dream have like a response video? I think I read. I oh, I did read. Sorry, he had a response video. I watched the response video and I read the nineteen page paper that he uh, commissioned an astrophysicist to do. Not a statistician, but an astrophysicist, which is a little different. Um, and it makes sense. But I still believe he cheated. Uh, the reason why is because the the difference that we're saying here is is um it's 1.75 trillion versus 1.100 million. Oh, uh, sorry, one out of 100 million. That's kind of the numbers that were are being thrown around right now. Um. It's still really rare for a one out of a hundred million. The thing is, is that the reason why? Okay, okay. So the difference between the two studies is that um, the first one, um, the first one was uh, the six stream. So, all right. Dream had eleven streams, and I'm not going to say. I'm. It's it's hard to put it like this. Dream had eleven streams. Of speed running on 1.16.1. 1. Um, he did five streams, took a break from streaming for a while, and then six more streams. Those six streams were really, really lucky. Those five streams right there were average luck. The first paper that came out from the mods analyzed those six streams. Um, and those six streams. Um, we're exclusively really, really lucky. So the assumption was that Dream changed the mods, like he changed the, the game to give him luckier drops in between that break period. Um, if you include the five streams before that, um, it's, it's about average luck. Uh, 
so it's hard to say. Um, I still, it's, it's, I'm, I believe it less that he did cheat. I still think he probably did. Um, I still think he probably did. Um, but it's, it's a little like knowing that it, it's kind of a little bit to the light. I don't know. I think the way he also did his video, I will also would, I will say this just fully. Um, he, he, he did his, his video was awful. Um, his video, uh, really highlighted statistics that did not matter. And it was very much like, he was like, it was sensationalized a lot. Um, and I know it's like he's doing it out of, um, some entertainment so people would watch it and all that. But he made the exact same... Like, he was he was blaming, like, GeoSquare for, for making a sensationalized video about the subject when he did something very similar. I think it's a, a shitty situation um, in general. It's possible he didn't. It's probable he did. So... Maybe just do a lie detector test. Uh, lie detector tests don't work. Did you already play Among Us today? Yeah, I did on uh, Grand Poop Bear's stream. You should watch it. It was really fun. Autumn, thanks for the four months. Finally finishing school for the fall. Super excited to go back to watching streams. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, awesome to hear. Hopefully, uh, hopefully your your semester went well. Game over. Thanks for redeeming run and ad. Thank you. Thing that makes me feel weird is the responses from the mods. It's it's a it's a weird situation. I don't know. Um, and the thing I I really dislike is that like you just got blind believers on both sides. So I'm not gonna weigh in on it too much. Um, because hmm. at this point, like it, it's like I'm I don't wanna you know. Oh. Guhan Buns, thanks for the four months. Let's see if you can say my name correctly this uh, this time. Oh, I probably I probably said that wrong. Thanks for the four months. Uh, and the potato uh, potato go god. Thanks for the prime gaming. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. What's your opinion on stands? I'm okay with stands. I have some of my own. Um, I'm okay with it generally. It's kind of scary. Um, with like the amount of like trust people have it's a little scary but i'm okay with it but like the thing with it is is that the more you have the more you have to watch what you say and watch what you do here has eric found a moisturizer yet yeah i told you deodorant easy batman thanks for the five months thank you welcome back the web says a lie detector is 87 percent accurate okay but I, if i also search on the web I, I believe in fifth grade when I looked up the major exports of the U.S. Uh, to France, it said Sasquatch. So um, you can't really believe everything you see on the internet. <laughs> um, uh, if you look up on the internet, uh, it says, for example, if you if you blindly trust the internet, right, you can go to Small Ant Stream, and he's like, "Oh, Eric is actually five foot four, which is totally a lie, right? Because I'm actually sixty nine inches. Why would I lie about being sixty nine inches?" Like, that's such a good number. Like, who wants to be 64 inches? Like, oh, God, 64 inches. That's that's a full stack in Minecraft. Got him. That's divisible by a lot of numbers. It's a very... 64, it's a clean number. It's, you can divide it by 16, 32, 4, 2, and 8. That's crazy, man. You know, like, come on. No, 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 no. No, it's like, hey, I'm 69 inches because that's the smoking number. Eric is 5'2". Tom, Tom, I'm taller than you by, like, a full, full like, 15 feet. Actually, how tall are you, Tom? I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Are we going are we gonna, are we gonna to run that back? <laughs> yes. Famous Birthday says I often make videos about my Italian heritage, it, which is just false. Oh, what's that thing if you say, like, I don't have Siri turned on, but but Smollett did it on his stream. Let me see if I can pull up the, the clip. It's actually really, really fucking funny. 
photo evidence though it was doctored evidence um small ant it's uh, someone clipped it probably all right clips did anyone clip it because he 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 did a uh, Siri my name, and I thought it was like funny day? as hell. Oh, here it is. Found it. Uh, I don't have Siri myself. That's why I'm opening this. Who is Point Crow? Point Crow, aka the most aggressively mediocre streamer on Twitch, has almost done it all. Like exploding pure sodium on his stream, or watching paint dry on his wall for 10 hours. He is best known, though, for his unmatched chaotic antics in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, such as completing the game with a single stick, by playing with no weapons at all, or using a dance pad as a controller, just to name a few. That's, um... I believe that's directly taken from my Tumblr interview. When Tumblr interviewed me. I think that's what it was. Um... But yes, that is, that's my describer. That, that is, that's how people just, I, there it is. <laughs> Super Sombra, thanks for the two months. Can't believe it's been two months since I subbed to this handsome man. How, God, don't gas me up too much. Don't gas me up. Your Tumblr interview? Yeah, Tumblr interviewed me. It was like a while ago. It was a couple months ago. It's Blitz, thanks for the two months. Thank you. Hey, and Jujubes, thanks for the six. Yeah, I can. I mean, I can look it up if you want. What gave you this idea? Pure, pure rage, pure hatred, is spawned this idea out of the cockles of my heart. Because apparently, it's just the worst thing you can do to yourself. Do you have friends? Great question. Gil, thanks for the 185 bits. Hello again. Random question, but what's your favorite anime? Uh, I don't really watch anime. Who's that? Who is who is anime? Do you guys know who Annie Mae is? Never, never heard of her. Is that like some weeb thing? Uh, I would recommend One Punch Man. If you haven't watched One Punch Man, the animation is phenomenal. Um, uh, no idea. Zero. Zero idea. You know. I watched the video where Smant buys custom point crow merch from Jackbox. Now it's this, oh my god. Dude, dude, okay, that he single-handedly spawned the meme of like, I was like, the first time I ever launched my merch, I was like, all right, check out pointcrow.shop. It's pretty awesome. Launching all these new things. I had a full on trailer and everything. Like one of the number one responses was like, <laughs> point crow's merch is shit. It's poop, poo poo, ha ha. Your, your merch is poo poo. <laughs> Like that, that was one of just, just because of that video. Oh my God. I bought one of my, I bought one of my own, uh, own of those shirts, but it was like, yay, your merch is poo poo. And I'm like, are you, are you kidding? <laughs> oh my God. What do you mean by delete everything? I'll delete your life. Your mom, gone. Dad, gone. Everything you've ever loved, gone. Deleted. So you better believe that I'm not going to take damage here. Step on a crack. Break your mother's back. <laughs> Watch crows sing and hope he doesn't delete everything. Is that a threat? I don't know. It's a great question. Great question. Up to you to decide. How far have you gotten before you take damage? We actually got to the Calamity fight. <laughs> we're actually just going to the Calamity fight. Yeah, so basically what we're doing for this run is we are doing... Uh, damage list. I take damage. I delete my entire save file. Um, and currently, we're completing the entire Great Plateau. 
Uh, we've gotten so far... We're not doing anything else. Like, we are kind of speedrunning this as well. So we're completing the entire Great Plateau. And then just going to beat Ganon instantly. There's nothing else. Real talk, what if you just bought me a PS5 for Christmas? No cap. C CJ. CJ, what... CJ, what if you bought me a PS5 for Christmas? Can you give me a PS5? It's, it's not it's not how it's gonna look. Buy me one too. Guys, I don't have the money to buy you guys uh PS5s. If I had more oh god. If I only had more Twitch Primes, maybe I could. Oh god, if I only if I only had more Twitch Primes, God, then I maybe could buy you guys some PS5. Alas, I only have 4,342 subs. Oh, God. Just shy of a PS5. Just shy. What a terrible world we live in. Far too busy. Thanks for the Prime Gaming. Thank you. Thank you. One step closer to getting that PS5. One step closer. Spirit of Ninja also looking wide. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe we got more. So close. That's that's we got four we got four primes. That's that's so close to a PS5, guys. <laughs> First off, uh, thanks for going along with the joke. Spirit of Ninja, thanks for the prime gaming. Lou uh Lulu's uh sorry. Lou Lola uh's Britannia, I'll just call you Brit. Thanks for the Prime Gaming. And Zakaru, thanks for the Prime as well. So close yet so far. Oh, God. If you sub to, to Point Crow right here, right now, you might be able to win a PS5. You might. Um, may, maybe, maybe not now. Or, like, I mean, like, I, I'm just saying, you know, statistically, it's possible. It's possible that, you know, one out of trillions of chances that a PS5 might end up in your mail. I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to send you one, but it's possible that you might get one. I'm just saying that subbing to twitch.tv slash point crow with your prime gaming might get you a little bit closer. It might, it might not. I'm just saying, you know, has, has is there anybody in chat who has a PS5 and sub to me with prime gaming? Is there? That's right. What? What is it? Yeah? Oh, I see, I see I see one in chat right there. I see one in chat. There you go. You never know. Maybe. Maybe it's because they subbed me with Twitch Prime that they got the PS5. You never know. Never know. <laughs> Cosmic Muffin, thanks for the Prime Gaming. And Spotted Pup, thanks for the Prime as well. Thank you, guys. Oh, my God. Shout out to everybody who just subbed with Prime for the joke. I fucking love you guys. This is why I like my chat. This is why I love you guys. Phenomenal. Because <laughs> you guys go with the joke. Um, <clears throat> Not a joke at all. Not a joke. This is very serious. Tobias, hey, you might do the same. Never heard of it. You might do the same. Oh my god, Jay Fox to go. Thanks for the Prime as well. And Luna, the cat love good. Thanks for the five months of Prime. Of Prime. I'm here PS5 to make up for the sweatshirt you never sent me. I'll just send you the sweatshirt. How about that? <laughs> Thanks for the primes, guys. Thank you. Nice same shameless self-promotion. I'm just shocked. You guys do not have to sub. I'm shocked that you guys even did. <laughs> like, thank you. Appreciate your faces. <laughs> Actually nuts. Zylia, thanks for the gifted sub. So look, I subbed with Prime. Thank you. Um. 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 Okay, we're good. Look at that. I like to keep you guys on your toes. You thought that we weren't going to make it. Thank God we did. Thank God we did. Danger, danger. I'm in danger. Kevin here, thanks for the Prime Gaming as well. That's so many Primes. How many? Jesus Christ, you guys are nuts. You guys are nuts. I love your faces. And Abotics, thanks for the Prime for two months. <laughs> if only I had the... I hope you guys didn't actually sub thinking you were going to get a PS5 because because just like full disclosure, like... <laughs> pro... pro uh, maybe... I mean... 
eventually maybe it might happen. You know, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. No. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? Skamized. Hey, I do know somebody doing actually like a giveaway. Her name's like Safarik, Safarik. She's doing actually like a PS5 giveaway. Where's their PS5? I'm just saying. All right, all I was saying is that, hey, if you sub with Prime, all right, that's it. If you sub with Prime, it's possible that there might be a PS5 in the mail for you. Whether or not I'm going to do that or not is is totally, it's not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving a PS5 away, but it might end up in the mail. I'm not saying if it works or not. I'm just saying it's possible that there might be some misdirect of a PS5 in the mail. It's just saying. Stormrider, thanks for the three dollars. Time to hydrate. Whether it be G Fuel water, make sure to hydrate. Thank you. I have uh I just did. I believe I did. Mega Smash, thanks for the tier one and master of the noobs, 69. Thanks for the prime gaming. Nice. Xylia, thanks for the gifted sub as well. Fair, thank you, chat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Smith, this is the first try. This is first try. Oh, did you finish your diamond pearl run? Uh I saw your I saw your um your Siri. I think that was from my Tumblr interview. Did you ask Santa about the PS5s? Uh, no. But Santa do be a ho, ho, ho. I'd like to peer in that sack any day. Where are you from, Crow? Uh, your dreams. I'm from, I'm. <laughs> I'm from California. Smooth? Come on. Come on. It's smooth. Am I not smooth? Was that not smooth? Dude, okay, dude, I kid you not. Every single time a prime now comes in, I just feel an extra pain of guilt. Okay? Like, like. Takushi Magikarp, thanks for the Prime Gaming, and Amber, thanks for the Prime as well. Now I'm just feeling guilty, okay? Like, now I'm feeling guilty for skamazing. <laughs> Sila, thanks for gifting us up the first try. AMV, thanks for the Prime. Oh, that's lovely. We love that. Smooth, smooth brain, you know, it's, you know, that's, that do be me sometimes. You ever, you ever have a brain where you're just like, wow, you, you take a look at it and you're like, wow, someone really ironed that thing out. It has absolutely no, no wrinkles whatsoever. That's the surface area of that brain right there matches exactly how many women Point Crows ever slept with. It's like a double zinger. EHC, thanks for the egg. Oh, thanks for the gifted sub. Dude, I have no idea. How do I say your name? Dude, how do I say your name? Hey, I'm just saying the surface area is a lot. I've slept with all of your mothers. Crystal Fan, thanks for the three dollars. Thank you. Hey Crow, if you die right now, I'll send you another dollar. Thank you, but you can keep your dollar. <laughs> Are you my dad? <laughs> yes, son. Yes, I, I, I... Rather than coming back from the gas station after all of these years, I've decided to appear to you in a, in a Twitch stream. This was all a ruse to finally... Finally... Get you to meet me. Hello. I'm your father. Finally, my legend is complete. Dad? You're back? Ah, I know, uh, Maddie. I think your dad's still, you know, a little gone. But you know, uh, maybe, maybe not your dad, Maddie. But everywhere, everyone else is. You know, it's definitely. Did you find the milk? Oh, 
Yeah, um, about that. I actually, um, I forgot. I I'll be, I'll be back in a couple of years. <laughs> don't, don't worry, don't worry. I'll be right back, guys. Chat, I'll be right back. Don't. Totally fine. Uh, just stay there. I'll come back for you. Lily, thanks for your bits. This is for jail? What do you mean? Zalia, thanks for the, the gift it's up. Thank you. To okay, good night, everyone, 666. Ah! <laughs> ah, the 666, all, I mean, it was like, it was sweet. And then the 666 at the end is, is a little, um, a little cultish, if you ask me. <laughs> Have a good night, Zalia. Should we try the strat again? I think we should. Oh, uh, should we try the strat? All right, we'll try the strat. You guys have convinced me. Fine, we'll do it. Never mind, we won't do it. Because it's insanely risky. Nice. Are you joking? Dude, I'm going to... I'm, I'm about to... I'm about to mauled. Dude, I'm about to... To mauled. Straight up lose it. <laughs> like, I, oh, it's the same spot. Like, it's the app. It's actually the same spot. That's why my hairline, that's why my hairline's receding, guys. Not only because of Twitch chat, but because of what I'm doing to myself. Xylia, thanks for gifting a sub to you died. Oh, no shit. No way. You got the Italian hairline? Yeah, I know. Got pasta strings for... Pasta strings for hair. Whenever I pick something up, it's in... Oh, God. Like, let me just use my phone. My saliva is spaghetti sauce. Did you call spaghetti pasta strings? Yes. Isn't that what it really is? Isn't ravioli just Pop-Tarts? When you really think about it? Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Zaylia, thanks for your bits. I was going to go to sleep. I can't miss my chance to plague your life with incidental gift subs. You do. I feel you. You're on my hip, right? As as some sort of Paris... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god, Zaylia. That is a Sheikah slate. Take it. It will God, help am I wrong about that? Long slumber. Am I wrong about that? Aren't aren't Pop Tarts actually just candy ravioli? Or just sweet ravioli? Not not candy. It's like ravioli jam. How do I take away a prime sub? I hate this. Nah, you can't take away your prime sub. Keeping it forever. <laughs> I do feel guilty about the past couple primes, but I appreciate it. I love your faces, mostly. That will show you the way. <laughs> your primes are mine. <laughs> your Bezos bucks are mine. Your Susan shekels. I've stolen it. Hollins, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Welcome to the murder. Glad you're doing the same. Thank you for your Bezos bucks. Godspeed. How are your teeth so nice? Very mm. kind of you. Ah, uh, they're not really. The um, I spent. <laughs> In Lunara, thanks for the Prime as well. Oh, it's so much guilt. Once again. Oh my God, thank you. Um, you yeah, I uh, I had braces twice in my life. Uh, and currently... Okay, alright. You want to hear a shitty thing about my, my teeth? Right? So I... I, um... I got braces in second grade. Second grade. Because, um... I had a massive overbite. 
Uh, like a massive overbite. And they're like, oh shit. Like, we gotta correct this before it gets really bad. Um, so they did. And then, you know, it, it started um, coming back, right? Um, uh, so, so they fixed my teeth. I had a nice smile and everything. I got them off. Uh, and then it started coming back. So then I got braces again in sophomore year of high school. Uh, which is an awful time to get them. Um, so I had I had braces again in sophomore year of high school because I started to get an overbite again. And now, oh God, I'm so pissed. I'm so we you, the, you, like you you would have never known, you would have absolutely never known this until until like you're in my life. But um, now my jaw started to finally like grow, like it like it normally does, and now it's grown out. So now I have an underbite and my teeth are messed up again. So if you actually like take a look, right, like. You can actually see, and I'll, I'll ruin my smile for you forever. One of my teeth are actually slightly lower. All right, because you can see it's this. And so my, my front teeth go like that. I also need to cut my nails. Ignore that. There you go. Because my jaw keeps going out. So that's uh that's that shave, dude. I ha I need I haven't like I literally woke up today and I'm like I have no time to take care of myself. Uh, cause I was going to do everything, you know. I was gonna I was gonna sit down, you know, do the do the shave, you know, do you know hygienic stuff like doing that, uh, you know, uh, and everything else. And uh, and then I didn't because I had I had to go everywhere today, all around Los Angeles. Nuts. Nazaki, thanks for the prime gaming. And Floofiest Cat, thanks for the prime as well. Xylia, thanks for gifting a sub to teeth. So many primes today. Jesus safe. Christ. You guys are, you guys are uh, <laughs> prime, if I do say so myself. <laughs> get, get it? Because it's prime gaming. Guys, I hate the I hate the words prime gaming. I have to admit it. I hate, I hate the words prime gaming. It's so, it doesn't roll off the tongue as much as, um, as Twitch Prime. Cause, uh, cause you're just like, thanks for the prime gaming, and it sounds really weird and really awkward, uh, and, and I just want to say thanks for the Twitch Prime, you know. Creation Games, thanks for the prime gaming. Gross, gross. My prime only goes to small ant. Hell yeah, he's a great creator. You definitely should prime to him too. Will you be doing some cooking streams with Cutie? Um, they're fun, but I, I doubt she wants to do more. I also doubt I want to do more either, because both of our YouTube videos um flopped. <laughs> there were fun Twitch streams, but it is not a it is not a YouTube thing. Uh, it is definitely not a YouTube thing. What's Beauty? Oh, I like how you spelled your name. Uh, I like that. That's creative. Thanks for the Prime Gaming as well. Thank you. Slide into Ludwig's DMs. I already, I can, I, I can already DM if I want. I don't need any sliding there. I don't know why. Also, uh, Cutie and Ludwig are just separate creators. You should think of them like that. You shouldn't think of them as like together, because um, I mean they're dating, obviously, but like you shouldn't think of them together because, um, if you just go to Cutie's chat for like 10 minutes uh you will see somebody going into their ch into her channel being like uh something like oh does ludwig have a big schlong or like you know like hey you should leave ludwig for me or like something and, and then it's gross i mean the mods take care of it but like you'll you'll see it um That's what happens when a streamer dates another streamer. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Um, but but the gremlins do be gremlinging. Uh, I mean, she she has like a, a nice mod team to deal with it though. So, I mean, the same thing happens reverse, but it's kind of. If only you found love, Eric Killabees. What's with the what's with the hostility today? 
First off, it's like, what was the one? It's like, hey, have you ever dated somebody? The second one is like, do you have friends? Now it's like, you know, like, if only you found love, Eric. It's like, fuck, man. Like, it's like, what do you, like, what kind of tier do you think I'm on right now? Like, <laughs> like, is everything all right with you? Like, you good? Like, is it, do you good? Is, you, are you hurt inside? Hmm. Got no chill. <laughs> Dude, I love it. Don't worry. Keep it up. I think it's funny. Being shipped with any other creator, dating was odd. All that matters. It's so frustrating. The only thing I find frustrating is when people are like, oh, cutie. And I'm like, she's literally like, I have a friend who is a girl. She is dating Ludwig. Shut the fuck up. It's like, Jesus. Hard to, hard to make friends as it is. <laughs> Is he, you know, I'm straight. But there's nothing wrong with being gay. Hell yeah. You will get ahead of Smant if you find love. I don't think so. I don't think so. Thank you, though. But I don't think so. Are you pregnant? Yes. I actually am indeed pregnant. How do you guys know? Was it, am I showing? Is that it? Am I, is that it? Am I, fuck guys. Fine. Yes. In fact, I, I, I am indeed pregnant. And it's, um, in fact, it's, it's with CJ's child. You have the glow. Oh, no. Yeah. Whenever I leave, you know, whenever I leave off stream, I'm just puking. It's like morning sickness, but in the afternoon, you know? Proud of you, King? Thank you. Can you get pregante? Am I pergert? Pregananant? Uh, Pineapple Skulls, thanks for the six months. Thank you. One of the funniest, funniest videos on, on YouTube. I am with baby for six months. Can who get pergnat? Per <laughs> what? I don't even know that is. That's like it's like the same thing as like what's that other uh, other video? It's like so I met this girl the other day, and she had huge honkers. I mean giant badonkers, straight up bon hon hongaloos. You know, like <laughs> dude, I love that video so much. And then there was this other girl with a real set of Bonhon Donaga Cougars. Honolagonagongas. <laughs> so I got this uh, this new anime plot, right? What the hell? Oh, oh, you had you have no idea. You you have you have zero idea here what you're ready for. I got this new anime plot. Basically, there's this high school girl, except she's got huge boobs. I mean, some serious honkers. A real set of badonkers. Packing some Doban honkeros. Massive da hunka bankaloos. Big old ton hongera cougars. What happens next? Transfer student shows up one day with even bigger bonk hanaga hoogs. Humongous hungalonga no no lo ganga. <laughs> I'm just, I, dude, I'm telling you, I am telling you, it's just, it's next level. Absolutely next level. Oh my god. It just, rem it just reminds me of it, right? Like, whenever, whenever somebody brings that up. And there's also, like, the Luigi board. Oh, don't even get don't even get me started on that. <laughs> What's your cup size? Um what is it, 16 ounces? Hmm. <laughs>
Hmm. What? They wanted to know how, how big my G Fuel cup was. Looks like 20 to me. Oh, it could be 20. I don't really know, actually. Doesn't really say on here. Yeah, how, how big is my cup size, guys? What is my cup size here? I want to know because I want I want to make sure I I, uh, I I fit correctly. You know, like I, I I put the correct amount of G fuel in, fit it correctly. You know, don't don't want don't want too much G fuel in there, or it's going to be like kind of pouring out. Uh, I don't want too little, or or um, uh, there's just going to be too much too much left. What? Why are you guys saying? Oh, why are you guys saying? Oh, what do you mean? Guys, guys, I'm talking about, dude. Guys, I, I'm. My cup. Double the G fuel. What you want? You want me to show my double G's? So you're a G cup, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's right. Yeah, right here. I don't know. If, it's kind of kind of mirrored, but yeah, it's my G cup. He doesn't understand. What? Don't understand what? What do you mean? We're talking about G fuel, right? I like your cut, G. Thank you. Appreciate that. Actually, actually, speaking of which, I, I really do need a, a haircut. It's a little bit too long right now. My sweet summer child. Now, I get it. I, I totally get it. Right? We're comparing, like, G Fuel cup sizes. Because you guys bought G Fuel with your code Point Crow, right? That's what we're talking about here. Code Point Crow. Buying your G Fuel. Get your French vanilla here. Here, there, everywhere else. Oh, what? Oh! What a smooth plug. Oh my god, you love to see it. Oh my god, you love to see it. Oh, hey, you know, my sponsors, they do be happy about it. Oh, they do be happy. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, I, but real, actual, real. Real question, like, like I actually do. What is like, how how large is this cup? Like, I actually don't know. It's like that. Like, how how large is? I actually don't. It's twenty eight ounces. Okay. Like probably like twenty eight or thirty two. Okay. <laughs> like I actually just don't know. Like I I, I like I should know. <laughs> Thank you guys. One day, uh, I hope to meet that foreign exchange student with those huge Bahanaga hoobaloos. Uh, I prefer uh, an exchange student with a, a nice a nice hourglass figure. There you go. You got to get a little bit of both. You can't be top heavy or bottom heavy. Which, nothing wrong with that. It's my preference, personally. Oh my god, it's Pint Crow. God, I, I hate you. Goth girl exchange student. <laughs> oh my god. Perfectly balanced is all it should be. Nah. Nah. Alright. Here we go. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. I haven't even... Guys, I, I'm going to be completely honest here. I haven't been paying attention to the game for the past hour i've just kind of auto i've just kind of been autopiloting this yeah your own flavor what would it be dude i would want like a coffee flavor like the french vanilla is so good it's like iced tea but i want like a straight up coffee flavor um there's like no way that's going to happen until like i'm like relatively like what like Moist Critical is sponsored by G Fuel, right? My 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 boy Moist Critical doesn't even have a, a flavor, so you gotta be bigger than Moist Critical, you know? I think what like doesn't XQC have a, a flavor? I know Pewdie 
Peter Pie does in like Phase Rug. French Vanilla does hit different. It's actually so good. How many fails so far? Zero. This is our first try. What's Ludwig's favorite color? I don't know. Can you buy G Fuel flavored G Fuel? Isn't, isn't that all of them? A Drive has one? I don't know who A Drive is. That kind of, okay. A Drive, the name A Drive reminds me of A Train, which is from The Boys. And uh, good show, by the way. Good show. <laughs> if you guys, uh, <laughs> you guys haven't watched it, I actually would really recommend it. It is not for the faint hardest faint hearted though it is it is definitely not but i would highly recommend it if you guys haven't watched it because it's goaded um but once again it is not for the faint hearted there's a lot of blood there's a lot of guts there's a lot of activity so much fun though what's it on i think it's on amazon prime or something we're about to get sponsored by Amazon Prime. Yo, dude, can we just talk about my sponsors for really quick? Like, not even shilling here. I have some, ins like, can we, like, my, just, just the sheer, like, quality of sponsors I have right now? Nuts. Like, nuts. Right, like, we got G Fuel, right? Obviously. Pretty good. Uh, that's insane already. Um, second off, we got Oris Gaming, right? We have, like, literally... Like a computing, like a computer company backing us, right? That's insane as well. Um, because they, I mean, they literally hooked me up with like the PC to run like everything. They hit me, like, I, I'm running two PCs right now for streaming. It's nuts. I have an insane setup. Uh, and then there's, uh, uh on, honestly, like, the, the, then there's Displate, who, who, I can't, I, I can't show you right now, but there's like, you, you've seen it in my recent videos. Like the avatar posters? Oh my god. Aren't they okay? The avatar posters? Ooh, her rhyme. That's from Displate. Nuts. Well, I need to make sure to use to connect it all. If you do exclamation gear, you'll see all of my my gear. In the chat. There we go. All right, let's just uh, let's keep on going. Let's let's keep keep trucking along. Can you go get a Lionel bow? Nah, nah, we're not gonna go get a Lionel bow because then we have to uh, kill a Lionel for one. Uh, I don't believe there's any Lionel bows that are nearby that are close to us that we want to get. Um, plus, we're trying to do this without taking any damage, so anything in that way, I probably won't. Oh, you guys are you guys are behind. Oh, you can see the oh god, you can see the mobile viewers. Hello, hi guys. I mean, I'm not trashing you guys for being mobile viewers. I'm just saying like, hey, you guys can see the mobile viewers, because you guys are th about 30 seconds behind. So I think it's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> right? I'm like, do exclamation gear in chat. It's like, oh cool, there's like a couple in there. It's like, oh you see it? The chat, it's right there. Perfect. Right? Um. And then when, like, we move to an entirely different conversation, like, five minutes later, exclamation gear in chat, it's like, huh? And it's just like, I see a whole bunch of them, it's like, ah, okay, you're a little behind because you're a mobile. For why you bully, bully mobile viewers? Nah, I'm not actually meaning it. I think it's funny. I think it's just funny when you see that. What do you think of Twitch's ban on the V word, S word, and I word? I think there are words that are far worse than those words that should be deleted than those. But hey, I guess they're moving in a correct direction. Just um, probably they kind of missed the mark a little. You know, I, I, I feel like I feel like if they if they had a dartboard, right, and the bullseye is right, like the worst words, they kind of kind of got the black. You know, it's like eh, not the biggest issue. Um. I mean, like, it, it, I mean, I see where they're coming from.
The V word, virgin. Apparently you can't say virgin. So like, you guys? Wait, I could probably get banned for that. Uh, I'm saying that as as a uh, uh, as a joke. You're, I was I was saying that um, like y you guys, because I know some of you guys are still um, a little bit. Um, you should save yourselves from marriage. That's why I'm saying. Um, that's why I'm saying that. Uh, uh, so it's okay to uh, um, not 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 sleep with anybody until you're married. I think that's a good. So it's okay to be a virgin, guys. Totally, totally okay. Right, save yourself for marriage. That's what we're talking about right now. Um, I'm also, you know, ad additionally, speaking of which, I'm glad you brought that up. Right, olive oil. Right, right. We were, right. Remember, all, we were talking about olive oil earlier. Right, remember that. Right, where it was like, hey, remember, guys, I, I was cooking earlier with, uh, with olive oil, but I didn't know if I should get the, uh, extra virgin olive oil or just like the regular virgin, olive oil. Uh. Yeah, so should I? I don't know which one I should should get. That's the. There you go. But thanks for thanks for answering it, guys. That's why I was that's why I was talking talking about it. You know. All right, nice. Extra version is popular for some reason. Yeah, actually, legitimate question for you guys. Like actual question. Um, what's the difference between, yeah, like, what's the difference between olive oil and virgin olive oil and extra virgin olive oil? Is one more premarital than the other? <laughs> okay, but, like, actual question. Like, I actually don't know. It's based on the people they chop up and put in the, all okay, that's not the actual answer. Pasteurization. I've been to an olive oil museum. That is so niche. I'm just, I'm just blown away that that even exists. Wow. Uh, damn. Liz coming in with the actual niche knowledge. Okay, cool. So it's actually matters about pasteurization of the actual olive oil. Huh. I, I, fuck, man. That is, I'm, everyone has that, right? Everyone has that, that niche knowledge that like, it just comes in clutch. Right, like you're just talking, you're talking about like one, one or two things, right? Uh, you're talking about one or two things and someone asks a question, it's like, oh, hey, you know, honestly, I'm really curious about, um, what is actually, uh, what Pop-Tarts are actually made of? And, you, and there's one guy in the back being like, oh, oh, that's, that's me. I know what that is. That, it, call on me, me. Ooh, ooh, I, I know what it is. I've been to a, I've been to a Pop-Tart museum and I've studied on this. And, and you're just like, oh shit, you just. Like, everyone has that one piece of random knowledge. One piece of random knowledge that they've, like, they, they are, like, experts on. Somehow. But like, just somehow. No idea why that is. But it's like, he, he, someone knows just... You go on weird deep dives sometimes. Like I've done this too, where where you're you're going on YouTube. You're like, hey, I just want to watch my favorite YouTuber, uh, Point Crow, sub to Point Crow, do youtube.com slash point crow. Uh, you should go to uh, you know, go to YouTube, watch your favorite YouTuber, some you know, some new video, and you're like, oh, cool, let me click on the recommended. This seems like an interesting video, and then you watch that, and it happens again, and you watch the other thing too, and uh, next thing you know, you are on the weirdest part of YouTube, and you're just ha on this document, like, documentary on, uh, on, on why seahorses mate for life. And you're like, yes, I've, I've always wanted to know about this. When, it, when in, in reality, your original YouTube search was something along the lines of, like, Xenoblade playthrough number three. You're like, you're like... <laughs> It's 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 a weird rabbit hole, but like you end up on it. And like recently, I've mentioned this a couple times. I've actually ended up on my own rabbit holes, and I've completely just embraced it, uh, like completely embraced it. So like I I started searching. I was like, oh cool, you know. I was wondering like Pokemon cards, and, and you know you get Pokemon cards, you Ludwig, and all this blah blah. Um, <laughs> the Olive Oil Museum was fun. There was a fun stone press I got to play with. I mean, it sounds fun, you know. I'm not knocking it. It sounds fun. I think it's hilarious. Um, but, uh, what I'm trying to, what I'm saying is, like, I've recently gone on the, the YouTube, uh, hole, you know, just kind of, like, the, 
go downhill and you discover random topics. Dude, I've dis I've, I am now on Yugi tubers, okay? Like, I have been, like, obsessed with these mans, these women's, like, just, like, Yugi, like, Yugi tubers are people who play Yu-Gi-Oh! And they're, they're YouTubers, right? So you get, like, Poketubers, right? Like, Pokemon people. Uh, you get Poketubers, like, uh, man, JTV, and stuff like that, you know? Um, but yeah, you get, like, Yugi tubers I don't know why. I don't know why. But it is, like, one of the most interesting topics currently in my life. I don't know. I, I, it just, it, it just happens. And I, it's like, I tune in every Monday and Friday to watch this one series. Like, I, I've never done this before where I'm like, okay, I'm waiting. Like, I can't wait until Friday rise. Uh, like, I, like, currently I'm like, okay, wow. I can't wait until Friday rolls around so I can continue watching my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh series. Like, like, <laughs> like I have, like, that's. Oh my god. Uh, if you're curious, there's two two Yugi tubers that I've been really interested in. Uh, one of them is Simo, C I M O O O O O O O, and then uh Nim Nim. And they're just fun. They're just really fun and they're enjoyable, you know? Wallflowers, thanks for the hundred bits. Hello, streamer in chat. Hope you're all happy holidays if you celebrate. Oh yeah. Uh a catalepsy, thanks for the prime gaming. An infernal shroom, thanks for the prime as well. But yeah, um, I actually I followed both of them on Twitter. So you can best you can basically say that we're we're best friends. I okay, one time. One time. Okay, like I'm not gonna lie, right? You you know the whole thing of like big number means better person, right? So so bigger number next to your name means you're a better person and all. So I actually, I, I, I did it the first time in like a while, uh, actually first time like almost ever. And I commented on one of the videos like, wow, this is so cool. Like I'm having a blast. This was such a great episode. Uh, and then they hearted it and I was like, oh my God, bigger number means better person for sure. <laughs> there we go. All right, we got it. I like I never comment on YouTube videos, you know. Ravioli Red Main, thanks for the seven months. Thanks for keeping me sane this year. I'm glad I could. Hope your holidays are very poggers. Hell yeah, Pico trees. Can we get some Pico trees in chat? Cause we have just completed the Great Plateau. Nice. Not gonna try to bounce anywhere. We will. We will at the very end of this. We're gonna go straight to Ganon. Love watching your stream. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, Jewel. <laughs> Jewel boobies, what a name. Dude, what a wild day it's been. What a crazy day. Oh. Koopa, thanks for the tier one subscription as well. Thank you. How many subs is that today? That's nuts. Dude, that's nuts. <laughs> like, we're getting like a sub every, every like three minutes. Jesus. Hmm. My God. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Someone P.O. Bex this man some olive oil and a ticket to the olive oil museum. <laughs> Someone P.O. Box me some moisturizer. <laughs> ah, I don't need moisturizer anyways. I got, I got deodorant. Right? That's all you need, right? Once again, and I will say this, instead of, instead of moisturizer, all you need to use is deodorant. Like gel deodorant works completely fine. It it kind of it kind of makes your skin a little glowy, and it's uh, a a nice good cologne. That or mayonnaise, mayonnaise. Honestly, what what a what a combo. That's why you have acne. I don't actually use that as 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 moisturizer. I actually just don't use any moisturizer. Uh, I do, I mean, Small Ant uses, um, uh, what was it? He uses conditioner as soap. What, what was it? What was it again? I forgot what it was. Uh, I don't know if CJ's still in here, but he does. 
Oh, he, he uses bar soap as shampoo. That's what it is. That's what it is. Um. It's 1300. We need to get a, um. We need to get a beetle here. We might be we might be waiting for uh, uh, some some amount of time here. Inhale of the outside. You ever put three heaping table uh, tablespoons of mayo in your pasta? Yo, mayonnaise is disgusting. Is anyone gonna agree with me on that? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is like Satan's cum. It's like the sperm of the devil. That's how gross it is, right? You, you're literally, that's what you're eating. And I refuse to give up on that fact. Like, that's, that is what it is. And I hope you realize that anytime you're, you eat it. It's actually disgusting. Like, I used to work at a ranch. Oh, that's another thing I used to do. Yeah, I used to work at a ranch, uh, and I would work in the kitchen a decent amount of times, and I had to cook for about, like, 80 to 100 people. Uh, and we would get bulks, uh, bulk shipments of condiments. Uh, and, you know, the, the ketchup and the mustard would come in nice jars, uh, and nice jars, and they would also come in squeeze bottles, and it was really nice. Um, same with, like, the relish and, and, uh, all the, uh, all the vegetables would, uh, were either homegrown, you know, on on the ranch, or they would be brought in by, you know, these uh these crates. But mayonnaise was different. Mayonnaise was not what all the other foods were. Mayonnaise came in a box. May the the not just a box though. But mayonnaise came in a box, and inside that box was a bag. Of mayonnaise some chunky just absolutely viscous mayonnaise and what you would have to do come and open it and you would squeeze down the mayonnaise right into the uh right into the squeeze bottle so you could eat it later can i show uh is this <laughs> maddie is the tiktok you sent me stream safe like do you did you want me to show it on stream <laughs> Mood though <laughs> Dude if that's not a vibe I don't know what is If that's not a vibe <laughs> By the way we are waiting until daytime Because we need to get a beetle here uh, So we're going to be around here for a hot second until it Until it comes back There's a beetle on one of these Uh uh um, supposed to be a beetle on one of these trees, but there's not going to be until 5 a.m. in the morning, so we have about a couple minutes to wait. And Mir, thanks for the 500 bits. I'm still happy for you that you're able to be a full-time streamer now. Love your content. Keep up. You're great. Thank you. I'm just blown away that I'm just able to do this as a job, so that's kind of crazy. Like, I wake up in the morning, I'm like, this is not real, but, you know, um, sure, I guess. Like, I guess I'll... It's just, I, I wake up to a dream job every day. Kind of nuts. Uh, it just got new. See the dream response to cheating accusations? Yeah, I've already said my piece on it. And then I don't want to, I don't want to touch that with a 10 foot pole again. Top tier job. I know, right? It's crazy. We're in game QA, so I kind of get paid to play too. I love it so much. Yeah, but I guess you're like kind of like a glitch hunter then, if that kind of makes sense. That's really cool. Uh, did you work for Cyberpunk? Ah, uh, you probably didn't because there's too many. 
too many bugs. Probably no QA on that. Oh my god, the amount of like I've played I played a little bit of of uh, Cyberpunk 2077 off stream. Like I thought it was I thought it was an interesting game. You know I I wanted to really test out my uh, my my Oris computer because uh, I mean they gave it to me so. Uh, why not use it? I wanted to see what the ray tracing looked like. I put everything on psycho mode and everything. And it runs fine, like clean. Oh my god, like 60 FPS ray tracing. Like, oh, nuts. Like, what? Absolutely, like, like a dream. In like five minutes, I found it glitched again. Like, like every single time I log in. Like, my, my vehicle clipped through the ground and I was driving on two wheels. Like, I, I was ejected into the sky at one time. I saw the entire map. It was kind of cool. Uh, like, it's it's not even, like, the game is playable, but you will encounter a glitch within the first couple minutes. Like, it, it, it is, yeah. I haven't had any crashes yet, though. I really need to save because the beetle won't spawn. I thought it was, uh, it had to be at, 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 at the, in the morning. Just a gold mine for content, dude. It feels it feels like a, a Fallout seventy six kind of kind of deal. There's that save file corruption glitch. Ooh, I didn't know that. That sucks. Dude, that blows. Um, there might be a beetle here now. Uh, there might not be though. I think it has to be in the morning. Like time of day, I think needs to be in the morning. I could be wrong about this. Only had three crashes with the newest Avengers game. I heard that sucked. Am I right about that? I feel like I heard that the new Avengers game really was just like awful. Just uh, reloading because the area changed. You don't load this if it wants one. All right. Uh, all right. So we gotta wait till morning here. Uh, so 5 a.m. in in uh, in game. We need the beetle for a tier three attack up potion uh, to beat Ganon. So we're gonna wait there for now until it's there. I heard a lot of streamers got paid a lot of money to play the new Avengers game. Yep. <laughs> it happens with a lot of games. <laughs> that yeah, that, that happens. Yeah, that's it's. I, uh, I got offered, and I said no. <laughs> uh, I get offered to play a lot of games for a lot of money, and uh, a lot of the times I'm not interested. What happens? What did you do this time? What do you mean, Trey? Trey, did you like the uh did you like the Among Us stream? How long more do you plan on streaming tonight? Uh, until I'm tired, so I don't know. Jason the case, thanks for the two dollars and thirty-four cents. T34. Happy holidays, Eric. Your streams always post smile on my face. Keep doing what you're doing, dude. Hey, thanks for that. I appreciate it. Have a Merry Christmas to yourself. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas Eve Eve. Yeah, it was pretty cool. The way they set up was sick. I have to go back and watch it. I haven't. I didn't see the setup because I had to. I wasn't logged into the the stream. Uh, but it seemed a lot of fun. Uh, you got uh, you got slapped up when I was in there though. Oh, was that with the X water? Oh God, what what X water did to me was dirty in that in that in that game. God damn. Oh, I trusted that man. I should have played. I should play more Among Us. It's kind of like a dead. It's not a dead game, but it's it's not like the most active game right now. Yeah, you did. Oh, you were there for that. Yeah, not the most active game right now, but uh, I, I it was my first time doing uh, proximity chat, and that's so fun. Like proximity chat, I don't think I'll be able to play it any other way. It's so much better than than the actual map. Like it's so good. They added a new map. I, I think they're going to. I don't think they have yet. Public lobbies? Yeah, no, I only do private lobbies. I've been, um, um, <laughs> we, I, I've been meaning to do it with, like, some of my friends. Been milked to death. Yeah, so that's, like, why I haven't done it a lot. Because, like, it's been, it's already, it's already been gone. Same, like, Fall Guys. Fall Guys is it. Fun game, but it's been, it's been played over and over again. Way, way too many times. Did we fail run? I just joined. No, we're waiting until morning. So, hey, what's up, Jasmine? Have you collected durians yet? Would you believe that that's against the rules in this 
in this uh in this challenge. So if there's anything less or more than three hearts, we failed. What do you want for Christmas? Um love. No. Um friends? No. Um Honestly, uh it sounds so dumb, but I want a katana. <laughs> I want a sword. <laughs> um Like here, let me let me uh here, let me show you guys. Let me show you. Okay, so one sec, one sec. Let me let me show you this. I have like a little collection now. Um, it's been it's been growing. All right, I took these off my wall now. Uh, <laughs> um, so I have um, I have uh, I bought a flamethrower first of all. Right, let me uh, can I do this real quick while we're waiting? Oh, let me. There we go. Hi. Uh, I have a flamethrower. Uh, it's fun. Oop, I don't want the propane to fall out. Uh. Which is, it's, I can't shoot it on stream. Um, I might have, I did once, okay? I shot it once. Um, that was, it was scary. Also, I know chat's broken, don't worry. Um, it'll, it'll refresh in a second. Uh, let me, let me refresh myself. There we go. Um, here we go, pop it out. There's chat. There we go. All right, now I can see you guys. It's not updating on stream, but I can see you guys. Oh, we're not. That's my internet. Whatever. Stream issues. But yeah, so I have a flamethrower. Um, and uh, it's fun. So I have said flamethrower. Uh, it's not attached, so even if you shoot it, it doesn't work. Um, there. Uh, second off, uh, I bought a paintball gun for the recent video versus... Uh, tray. Uh, so I have now a paintball gun that really hurts. I, I still have slightly a mark on my back, uh, which I might need to get checked out because I got shot with this in my own apartment. Um, and then what just came in the mail is this uh, water gun, which is super cool, right? Because like here, it's like electronic. You can see if I turn it on. You can see it says 0%. Like it has like a percentage of like how much water is in here. So then it also makes really cool sounds. Like you can go like that's how it that's how it shoots, right? You go like like right there. Okay, and then wait, wait, wait. And then this is a power shot if I do this. And it's like, oh god. It broke a plate in my uh um in my bathtub because I tried it out in my apartment. So uh anyways. Uh anyways, I uh in conclusion, I want a katana. <laughs> uh, just to put on my wall, you know? That's a long-winded way of saying that. Uh, but yeah, we're currently waiting, just in case you guys are coming in for the first time, or you're uh, coming in wondering what the hell is going on with the stream, we are waiting until uh, morning in-game, because um, at 5 a.m., that's when a beetle spawns. We want a specific beetle on one of theirs. The beetle, actually. Just kidding. Uh, well, we found the beetle exactly as planned. Um, it is not 5 a.m., but that's... You know what? That's exactly... It's... Uh, sometimes it works out that way. Um, but we want this beetle for a tier 3 attack up potion so that we can just go straight to Ganon because... Um, we can. Because we can. So the bladed rhino beetle right here uh, will give us the attack power we need to beat Ganon and just end the game. Because uh, not only are we doing this damage list, but I kind of want to just do this like as a... I just want to do it as fast as possible. Because I feel like the more time we have in game, the more of a chance we have to get hit. Um, so uh, we'll just go straight to Ganon. And I do have to ask you guys. Uh, do you guys want me to... Should, should I do the super risky strat to go all the way to Ganon? Or should I, like, relax and not do it? Should, like, should I do it the risky strat that will probably take damage? Or might it will look really cool? Or should I, like, relax? Okay, all of you guys are saying relax. So I guess we go risky then. 
All of you guys are saying relax. Risque. All right, we'll go risky. It's actually super cool. The only issue is, is that it's, uh, it's basically frame perfect. So we need to hit this within a 15th of a second for it to work. Um, we'll do it in a sec. We have to get away from this Bokoblin because he is, he is, he is on my tail. Jesus Christ, dude, calm down. Oh my God. You're like one of my stands on Twitter. Calm down there. All right, there we go. All right, we're good. <laughs> Donkley, thanks for the, is that, did I say that right? Donkley? Donkley? It's like Ashley, but like with Donk instead of the Ash. Thanks for the Prime Gaming. Welcome to the murder. Glad you're in the stream. You get hit, I'll, te I'll gift 10 subs. Dude, not worth it. <laughs> I'll just tell you that right now. The, the amount of, like, just absolute stress I have over this run on on a a, a minute to minute basis. Oh, I don't I don't want to hard container. Uh, hard containers absolutely do nothing for us. Um, we want a stamina vessel. <laughs> Sorry, because <laughs> hard containers. It doesn't matter if we get a hard container because if we still take damage, like it's it's gone. Yeah, Merry Christmas Eve, Eric. It's not currently Christmas Eve for me, but Merry Christmas Eve to you. It's Christmas Eve Eve for me. All right, we'll do stamina vessel. It'll give us a little bit more of a leeway on that on that trick I'm talking about. Have you managed to reach Ganon yet? Uh, unfortunately, yes. Because <laughs> uh, we actually have gotten to the very ends of the Ganon fight. Uh, at the very end of the game. And then took damage in the dumbest way possible. Um, and the way I'm saying that is uh, we took damage by Ganon's laser shooting at us. It didn't hit us. We dodged it, but the explosion hit the wall, and then one of the flames from the wall nicked Link's back, and then we took a quarter heart of damage. Like, a, a quarter... Oh, God. I'm still pissed over it. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve? What do you, what do you guys want for Christmas? I want to ask that. What do you guys want for Christmas? Fuck, dude. I just... Oh! No! Wait, 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 wait. 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 Okay, I have to ask this from you guys. Technically. Alright, alright. We haven't taken damage yet. So what I could do is I could quit the game and then restart the game. And I'll still be at three hearts. Because cause, cause currently, we're still in the animation. I'll go... You know what? We'll leave it up to a vote. We'll leave it to a vote. It is up to you guys. Whether we continue with this or not. I'm not going to sway you either way. Right? Um... Is exiting the game during the animation before we are shown Link's hearts a reset? Yes? No. All right. Type one or two in chat to vote here. It's up to you guys. Up to you guys. I'll go with whatever the majority is after a minute. And hopefully it's, um, well, I don't know. We'll see. Smools, thanks for the 100 bits. Sorry, my chugging milk distracted you. <laughs> but seriously, that was way too much milk. I think I'm dying. Um, you know what? I have, I, uh, that is uh, a statement. Yes. Yes. That is a statement you can... Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Did you... It, how, do you how do you have like... All right, I, don't, I don't even understand. All right. Three, two, one. All right, there you go. There's your answer. 
I'm, if you guys voted yes, it would have been yes. We'll continue on. Will the victory feel good? The fact that I, I, I saved it feels good. <laughs> I do have to. I, okay, I do have to say this too. Uh, I do have to say this. I do know Jasmine's in my chat. Um, we finished Ocarina of Time. I don't know if you guys were there, um, but we finished Ocarina of Time with Trey. And I do have to say, the the game. The game is good. The game is good. Uh I I think I think I really like Ocarina of Time again. Um that is that is the the final final uh verdict. And uh I do have to say thank you to Trey, thanks to Architect for for leading me through it after I was initially um not wanting to do it uh so thank you thanks trey will you play by yourself off stream probably not no um i don't play any of the other game i don't have any time to play games off stream really i mean sometimes i do i, I played some um um some a game called pathway last night um because i felt like it at like 5 a.m or something uh sometimes i'm up at like dgen hours but it happens so so thanks for the two months. I'm a competitive marbles player in Trey's stream. Damn. I should do marbles one day. Dude, I wanted to do... Oh, my God. I'm, I am want to do it, but I'm nervous. Like, I want to do an IRL stream. Like, they look so much fun. I mean, they, they, look, they also really look expensive. But, like, to buy a gun run backpack. But, like, they look like so much fun. I don't know. The also, also the thing is, is that like in the U.S. in like I, I mean I'm, I'm I'm in L.A. right now, and like L.A. COVID rates are like stupid, <laughs> like like stupid high, um, so maybe not currently, but like maybe eventually, it's an IRL stream. Basically, you stream IRL in real life, and you just go around having fun. It just seems like a like a fun time. Like maybe like once or twice. I mean I can't right now. It's like yeah, it's like a live vlog. I was like watching one the other day. Like I, I went to a dog cafe and I cried because the dogs were so cute. I want a dog. Guys, should I get a dog? That's my next one. Should I get a dog? <laughs> well done there, young one. You're supposed now, to say no, because I can't. I can barely take care of myself, <laughs> let, alone, let alone another dog. <laughs> oh my God! We have to go to, to TwitchCon in 2021. IRL stream. I don't know if I want an IRL stream in TwitchCon. Past. You can do the it. I'd, I'd be down. Born into but I won't. Kingdom, but his transformation into yes, another. Well, yeah, because I'm a bitch, right? So that's that's kind of. <laughs> hey, we love the, the self-deprecating humor. <laughs> Glad you guys got that. Zelda. Also, answer my DM. And the courageous knight who protected her. <laughs> Give right me your address. <laughs> Jesus, dude. That yeah, sure. knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the shrine of resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of oh my would be be your awakening offer. Oh my god. Dude, I would I would love a dog. Um like I would love an Aussie. But I know I'd have to take like so much care of it too. Like either an Aussie or um or a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel again. You got no room nor time. I know, and it sucks. Dude, let me just, just let me just buy a house real quick. Any prime gamers in chat so I can buy a house? I'm kidding. Don't actually sub for that. Don't don't do it. That's that's a bad that's a bad. Don't spend your money like that. <laughs> don't do that. 
Um, I already feel guilty for the PS5 stuff. <laughs> um, but maybe eventually, guys. Maybe eventually. And if I get a house, then maybe I can get a dog. A house in LA or like a normal house. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Yeah, like a house in LA. Or like maybe the outskirts of LA probably to make it cheaper. Or like, sorry, re rephrase, more affordable. 70, uh, pe 70 pets of no. Thanks for the 200 bits. Thank you. All right, so we've gotten past the Great Plateau now. Um, and we haven't taken uh, a little bit of damage. It's got David Dobrik in here. Dude, okay. Oh my God, you have no idea. I actually debated, like seriously debated for a while, actually, because I know he's selling his house. I debated buying it. Cause it's a really nice house. It's like my ideal house. Like that that house is like my dream house. Or it's like one of them. Um but then the the problem uh of that is uh everyone knows his address. So consequence yeah, I like I don't want everybody to know my address. So probably not, you know. Um But like I oh god, god I love that house. Like I was going house hunting with Trey. <laughs> like like he visited right so trey visited la uh with adam and we just spent like like a good like two two hours every night just like going over like we, we would go on zillow and just like look up houses and we would like save houses and nothing makes you more sad than when a house that you can't afford marks up as sold on zillow and you're like oh god oh I, my house my dream house was sold but like you can't afford it anyway so there's you have no right to be sad but you're just like oh god straight to the heart you become emotionally attached to this thing that you can't get it's the worst thing like oh god. there's like this one house uh that that is just like it's gorgeous it's a beautiful front yard gorgeous backyard it has none two stories right it had six bedrooms right like I, I first off i can't afford it um but if i had like five other people in the house that like i would charge rent for then like technically i could afford it um it just got, had a fountain it had its own driveway it was in the middle of the hills had a nice view and it's marked as sold in my heart I, I've never known such betrayal before. It it just speared right into the, the cockles of my soul. God, feels bad. Feels so bad, man. Parliament of Owls, thanks for the 1,000 bits. Uh, it's been a rough day. I was pleasantly surprised to see you streaming. Considered uh, me cheered up. Oh, thank you so much. It's very nice. Thank you, and thanks for the one thousand bits. You don't have to, you don't have to send me any any bits or any money. I, I just appreciate you being here, just in general. So I'm glad I could cheer you up just a tad. Sucks that uh, today was a bad day, but uh, today's. <laughs> I'm glad I could cheer you up. All right, you guys ready for this trick? <laughs> it's been a, it's been a hot second. You ready for this trick? I gotta focus here too. Okay. <sighs> All right, chat's too loud. You guys are being a little too loud. A little too rowdy in my ears. Just need you guys to silent up real quick, all right? I have a 1 out of 15. Um, oh, I don't have a... Sorry. Oh, that was bad. Nope. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. 
Okay. All right. Sure. Thanks for the 100 bits. Happy birthday. Not my birthday, but thank you. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Got it. Oh, I don't know if that's fast enough, but I think we got it. I think we got it. Um, I was a little bit too early on that. I don't know if the speed is correct, but we might get there. That might be it. That might be it. I don't know. Uh, we've kind of slowed down a whole bunch here. Dude, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. That's a no. All right. God damn it. All right. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, God. I was too early. <laughs> Sorry, I need to I need to really focus here. Got it. Oh my god, we got it. Okay, that's the per that's that's the angle. That's the angle right there. That's the angle. That's it. That's it. We got it. We got it. That's a guaranteed got it. Whoo! Oh, that's that's a two frame window that you have to hit right there. The two frame window. We got the necessary speed and we had a, we have a good amount of stamina. We can make it. All the way across high rule. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. That's that's nuts. Oh, we gotta skirt around this. That scared me. Everything's fine. That scared me a little bit, but we're good. Totally good. Okay here. Ah uh, so, so fine. So very fine. Was a little close, but we got it. Little nervous. Okay, so now we're gonna save and we're gonna reload. Uh, we're gonna get good. If we have enough arrows here, then we're gonna continue on. If not, then we're gonna reset until we have get uh, enough arrows. That is that is a decent amount of arrows, but we're gonna reload here. Uh, we're gonna get as many arrows as possible. Uh, for safety reasons, and this is in a speed run, so we can reset as much times as we want without the fear of losing any time. Oh my god! That's. 11? Do you think 11 is good enough? That's, 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 uh, that, that's a lot of arrows right there. Um. I think we'll save it. I think we'll save. Because there's, there's more, there's more in the castle. Remember that? You're awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. What are we doing today? Hey, if you ever want to know what we're doing today, you can just look at the title of the stream. 
Um, but essentially, we're doing damageless Breath of the Wild. Uh, if we take damage, then we reset our save file. Just delete it. Uh, we also need bananas. Nice. There we go. Bananas. Bananas. All right. Oh, uh, I'm not. I was about to do a wind bomb here. Okay, we're not going to do a wind bomb. <laughs> okay, you know that's fine. I was like, all right, cool. That would that would make us take damage. Probably not the smartest idea. Also, before we get into the uh, the castle and everything, uh, if you guys are liking the stream and you're not following the stream already, what are you doing with your life? Uh, you're probably just enjoying. That's that's really it. I can't really fault you for that. But hey. Thanks for being here. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, and I hope you guys uh, are, in fact, joining. Does it count as damage if you have yellow hearts? If we have yellow hearts, then, then yeah. Uh, then we're not going to have any yellow hearts. Because even if you have yellow hearts, you're going to take damage. Here we go. Oh, thanks for all the follows, guys. <laughs> yeah, follow, like, subscribe. Don't forget to... Like, what was it? Don't forget to comment, like, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to absolutely demolish that like button. Oh, let me, let me freak you guys out too. Let me freak you out. There you go, that's close. Don't forget to smash that notification button. All right, um... All right, so we're actually have to take off from Majora's Mask here, and this next sequence is this next sequence is a speedrunning sequence. So, um, it's completely possible we just take damage here, but we're gonna do this fast because we can. So we have to activate the Lozafos. He's gonna come in. He's gonna try to slash us. I'm gonna put that right there. Uh, he's gonna come out. Ooh, okay, okay. I'll get distracted by that bomb. Hopefully. No, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Jump down, switch to the Royal Guard Sword. We're going to Sneak Strike you. You're going to die. Nice. Okay, awesome, that was close. Uh, I need the Royal Guard's bow here. Very important. Okay, cool. Good so far, good so far. Uh, we're almost done with completing this too. All we have left is basically cannon. Um, that's good arrows, good arrows. Okay, we're not gonna reset this. That's a lot of arrows. The more arrows we get, the easier the Ganon fight will be, uh, which is perfect. Uh, the mask, no, we don't need the mask yet. Actually, we probably, actually, good idea. Mask is probably good idea in this in this scenario. You're not wrong. Okay. So now we're going to go back to that Lazalfos and kill the Lazalfos. Uh, the reason why we put the bomb down there is so that the Lazalfos um, plays around with it and just sees it and everything. Uh, so it gets distracted. So we can still sneak strike it when we come back. Over here. Um, I'm so happy that I've been learning Breath of the Wild any percent. Um, the speed run, because it's like, it's helped so much for this run. Like, so much. Okay, we're gonna sneak here. Let's change the Royal Guard Sword. I need to pay a lot of attention here. Yeah, there he is. Alright, so he's playing around with the bomb here. Who doesn't see us? We need to sneak strike him. Nice! Good! Okay, that is that is by far the scariest part of the run so far. Okay. Okay, we did it. Awesome. Next, we need to become Gordon Ramsay himself and cook up a meal. Okay. So we just need to go over here. We need to pick up this razor shroom. Here we go. Can I have someone explain speed run percents? I get confused when someone says any percent, etc. because I'm fairly new to the whole thing. Hey, I got you. No worries. So uh, whenever you see something like um, any percent, low percent, uh, blank percent, uh, it stems from like uh, a video game, right? You know, from being like, oh, I want to complete 100% of this video game as fast as possible, right? So 100% means you have to complete literally everything in the game. So a 100% speed run is I complete 100% as fast as possible. So any percent derives from that term, being like you can complete the game as fast as possible with any 
percentage. Doesn't it doesn't have to be 100 percent Needs to be any percentage. Um I'm gonna take this. Hopefully that makes sense a little bit. Alright, we're gonna do this, hold. And then the Moblin Guts over the Moldugafin should be better. So this should give me more than five minutes. Ooh! Critical, too. Six. It gave me six, in, six minutes and 30 seconds. That's fine. Whatever. I'll take it. That's better. Okay, so now we need to get this arrow here. From new to your Twitch, welcome in. Glad you're here. Glad you're enjoying. All right, now we do this. Bomb you. And, um... And let's go to Ganon! <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's beat the game. So now we have to do all of the Blight fights. The entire Ganon fight. All, 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 all alone. All by, all by myself. Um, also, by the way, we stop here because that's a Fallen Guardian. It happens every time. It's, it's, it's a little trap from the developers. If you just run around run too fast around here, you can get hit by that guardian. So, a, little, a little fun right there. Um, yeah, let's just complete the game. Because <laughs> why not, I guess. Uh, we need to go around here, and there's a certain trick we're going to do too. It's called beating Wind Blight with one arrow. Ooh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Ah, uh, yikes, 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 yikes. Uh, dodge the patrol. Yo, where is... Oh, where did... What? Dude, I don't know why I saw it. Okay. Oh, it's up there. Okay. We're fine then. Dude, I am so scared of these guardians right here. Yeah, chat freezes every now and then. It's okay. Um, I forgot the way up as well. There's like an easy way up here that I always forget. I think it's this way. Yeah. <laughs> running this portion terrifies me constantly. Yeah, I mean, like speed running, it's fine because you skip all of this. But like, I can't, I can't wind bomb here. This is where you would normally wind bomb. But wind bombing makes you take damage, <laughs> which is, uh, which is like, ah, yikes. Yeah, so we're just gonna go up here. Okay, hello, hello, guardian. It's nice to meet you. Hi! Hello! Good morning! Okay, yikes. Love that for us. Absolutely love that for us. We're gonna go up here and around. Dude, I am so terrified of this. <laughs> oh god! Okay! I heard I heard it shoot. Uh, I heard it shoot. It's uh it's still looking, it's still still looking for me. Dude, dude, this is so... He could do an instant shot next time. Okay, we're almost to the Ganon fight. We just need to get up this cliff. And then that's the end. Do you demonstrate what happens if you take damage? Oh, God! Oh! Oh, oh my God! Oh. There. But, like, a little bit more uh, exaggerated. Thank you. I got you. Hey, no worries. Common question. Okay, we want to go over here. Okay. We've made it. I'm scared. Okay. Let me show you a fun trick. Let me show you a fun trick. It's called beating Wind Blight. 
with one arrow. One of the bosses in the game you can literally beat with one arrow. It's a simple glitch. Let me do this. All right, I need to focus here. All right, that should be good. All right, here we go. Ganon fights, I need like full concentration for this. So I'm sorry, ch I'm sorry chat. I'm gonna like, ignore you for a bit. Uh, Cause we're back here. Nice, okay. So a hit. That's a good one. Ooh, okay. Um, He didn't die, but he, um, he should be at one hit now. That was close, that was close. He should be at one hit. All right, yeah, 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 cool, cool, cool. All right, so health bar is at one hit left. That's kind of cool, because it, it, it the way it works is that the arrow actually hits him in the cutscene. Okay. So hit once, hit twice, backflip, sidestep, sidestep. He misses, we go right here, we get the hopeful double hits. No, there we go, double hits, nice. Nice, good cycle, good cycle there. Got it. Dude, if I could channel my inner gamer here. If I could just like channel my inner gamer. <laughs> like I've done this fight hundreds of times already. And like, I just need to not get hit this one time. We're also on a time limit too, by the way. Like our attack of potion can't run out by the Ganon fight, so we're actually on a time limit. Come on, okay, come on. Really? Okay, that sucks. Nice, that was close, that was close. Nice. Okay. That's not good at all. That's not good at all. Yeah, that's good. That's good.
Okay. All right. All right. We just have the, the Calamity Ganon left. We just have Calamity Ganon left. That's it. All right. We just have Calamity Ganon. That's it. Is left. Second phase. the stun lock. Okay, we just have Dark Beast left. We just have Dark Beast. Okay, we just have Dark Beast to go. <sighs> stay focused, stay focused here, stay focused. We did Calamity Ganon. Now we just have Dark Beast Ganon to go. That's it, we have just Dark Beast Ganon to go. That was insane. Great. I think that was the fastest I've ever done that Ganon fight. I think that was one of the most flawless Ganon fights I've ever had. Like, it wasn't flawless by any means. Like, it had its own problems. I will admit that, obviously. But it was a... It, 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 was, it was my best, personally. B 
the sheer adrenaline. Okay. Nice. He's just built differently! <laughs> I need to actually focus here. I'm, not, I'm actually not gonna lie. Like, I'm actually kind of nervous because I've taken damage on the Dark Beast Ganon fight before. So I really don't want to do that again. Okay, nice. All right, last part here. Go back around. Like, I'm taking a wide, wide mark here. Okay, this next one should be in the middle. Okay, last shot. We have one last shot. I can't I can't celebrate early. He can still hit us here. Look up there. Oh, that's right. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's, bad. that's not good. That's not good. Oh, you have no idea how amazing that is. <laughs> We've beaten Breath of the Wild, first off, not not only without taking damage, but doing speedrun strats too. Like, we took it super risky. We wanted to do it fast. It took us eight hours, 17 minutes to actually do this. Well, it should have honestly been first try, but you know, we, we, we did it. That's right, we beat Breath of the Wild without taking a single hit of damage. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. Hey, if you're watching a YouTube video, you think that's impressive, just wait. Feel free to subscribe, you know, have fun with it. <laughs> Thanks for being here and I hope you guys have a good one. <laughs> there you go. Oh my God. And that's the closer. We finally beat Breath of the Wild without taking any damage. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, I like actually shaking. Here. Jesus. Hey, if you liked, if you liked the stream too, feel free to follow me. Twitch.tv. That's right here. You know how it is. I deserve the rights to flex. That's crazy, dude. That is nuts. That was probably the best Ganon fight I've ever done, ever. That that has to be. It, it was flawed, obviously, by speedrunning standards, but my god, that was the best game fight I think I've ever had. <sighs> oh my god, that's so, so worth it. So worth it. I, you have actually no idea. We actually, that, this wasn't my first, like, try at this either. Like, we actually tried this uh, months ago, about a year ago, and I couldn't, I couldn't hack it. Um... So I finally like closed up one of like the the streaming challenge strings that I've done. Oh my God, Kano! Thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Oh my God. Uh, S and D'Angelo, thanks for the five gifted as well. Shadowmar, thanks for the gifted sub, guys. Thank you so much for the. I can't read all of all of these. Pearlman of Owls, thanks for the five gifted as well. Coconut Owl with a thousand. I can't. I can't. It's just so many. Thank you guys so much. It took so many tries. Oh, finally. That's crazy. That's, that's, that's actually nuts. I can't believe we did that. Dude, today's a great day. <laughs> Today is a great day. I just can't believe we pulled that off. Oh my God. Thanks. Uh, I like to do this after every like challenge, whatever. I like to do a little thanks. Uh, my thanks is first off, thanks to the mods for staying up this late, um, because they don't have to, and 
Uh, if you are in chat and you are a mod, this one goes out to you. Hell yeah. Um, and then second off, thanks to you guys um, for keeping me entertained. I wouldn't have this patience without you guys. So... Um, so thanks to you guys, uh, because this, this, um, I mean, like it's, it's nerve wracking to me. I, I'm, I, I can't believe we did it. And, uh, Hey, eight hours of trying the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, thanks for giving, keeping me entertained. Um, we could do one of two things. We could end it on a high note here or we could, oh God. Well, honestly, we probably should just end it here. Um, we probably should. As much as I want to continue, I think it's probably a good good thing to end it. Um, I mean, we could start speed. We could do more speed runs, I guess, if you want. Like we could do an any percent speed run. Um, but um, we, I, I think, I think honestly, I think it might be a better idea to <laughs> call it there. All right, yeah. Uh, I think we'll call it here then. Uh, I think we'll call it here. What a, what a, what a, what a day. What a day. Good ending. Uh, yeah. So if you guys haven't followed the stream, feel free to follow. Uh, it's been a time. Thanks for all the bits, guys. Seriously. Perfect ending. Uh, great. What a day. What a day. Uh, let's give a raid to somebody. Who is poor? That's that's a that's a clip from before. That's small ant. Okay. Um. Let's. You know what? Let's 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 do this. Let's raid Maya. Uh, we were we were we were talking about our conservation efforts uh, efforts a while ago. I think I think we make a new friend. Let's raid Maya, and uh, I think you'll like her. She's pretty awesome. Say hi, smiley face. Right. Oopsies, that's the wrong one. Um, hi, smiley face. Wrong one. There we go. Say that in chat. Uh, thanks for stopping by, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we beat Breath of the Wild, but the lights are turned. Someone turned the lights off. Uh, it's Breath of the Wild, but someone turned the lights off. So that's that's a fun, fun stream. <laughs> thanks for stopping by, guys. I love your faces. Seriously. You guys are you guys are nuts. I don't even know what, to, uh, what else to say. Oh, so, all right. Have a good night. <laughs>